Hello, and welcome to the all-wheel drive beetle build. I'm quickly going to show you what the plan is. So first, we're going to take my 67 beetle here. We're just going to get rid of the wheels there. Then we're going to get a Subaru. Just going to get the top out of there. And then we're just going to sandwich the two together. Easy. So along the way, I also want to do a pricing breakdown. To start, I got this beetle for free. I traded a guy some welding work. Uh, guess who made out on that deal? Now that the beetle's in the garage, I have to brace the body. I ended up doing only four braces across. Four braces is going to be enough. Now the way the beetle's designed is it's a split pan. So the body comes off the frame and all the structure is underneath. All it takes to take the body off is a handful of bolts, a few hoses, two wires, and the steering. On the Beetle, the nose is part of the body. It doesn't bolt on. I ended up just cutting it off. I'm going to go with a whole fiberglass front end in the end. But we'll see if there's any fitment problems when we get there. When I took the body off the thing, it looked like someone tried to replace one of the heater channels already. They didn't weld it. So one of them came off and the other one's completely rotten. So while it's off, I'm going to be putting new heater channels in. They were $150 a piece. But I'm only going to be using a small section of them. That's why I didn't bother doing it the proper way. The right way would be to bolt the heater channel to the pan and then drop the body on top and then weld it solid. I only need the top part where the sill is. The first problem I've already run into is the lower hinge sheet metal is supported by the nose. So when I open the door, the door starts to sag. But in the end, I'm just going to weld it solid so it doesn't matter. Now ain't that pretty. This first part's going to be short just because rust repair is kind of boring. But in the next video we're going to reveal the Subaru and start getting that torn apart. And uh, some other notes. The only other all wheel drive Beetle I know of is a rally car. And what they ended up doing is using a bus transaxle. They ended up putting a Subaru diff in the front and using Saab control arms. And that was a rally specific car. So... From what I understand, mine is the first front engine all-wheel drive classic Beetle. If you want to follow along in the build, consider subscribing and give it a like. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time.